how to delegate control to group or users on windows server 2003 environment by tech.ptechrise.com first let's see some details in windows 2003 users or groups can be granted administrative privileges over containers and the objects within those containers Although this can be performed by modifying the permissions on the container, Windows 2003 includes the delegate control wizard to automate the task. Now let's log on to a server with administrative rights. Well, although it is not necessary to log on on the server with administrative rights, you can also log on with the user and use run as command. Now let's see how to delegate now let's go to start all programs administrative tools now select the program in which you want to give a delegation to a user let's say for active directory user and computers open the active directory user and computers on the active directory user and computers click on the plus sign beside the domain now select the folder which you want to give a delegation to a user let's say for you want to give a delegation for this particular folder which is user now right click on the on that user folder and click on delegate control delegate control wizard will open on the delegate control wizard click next select the user by clicking on the add you can also you can type the username here or you can click on advance and click on find select the user from the list after selecting the user click okay as you can see user is added here now click next now from here you have to select the appropriate permission you want to give a user right now let's see there is create and delete and manage user accounts there is reset password for forcefully for users read all users information create and delete and manage the groups modify membership and so on now let's give our user a permission to reset password only now let's click next now as you can see the detail pl plane will show what permission we have given this to this user now click finish let's see one more example let's say for organization unit let's click on the organization unit this is a OU which we created on our previous tutorial now let's right click and delegate this OU rights to a particular user now let's click next same procedure now select the user click ok then click ok click next select the appropriate task you want to give to this particular user let's give create delete and manage the user accounts now let's click next click finish now let's see one more example on a different OU this is account OU now let's delegate this one too let's type the username as you can see user is added now let's click next now click next now here there are two options one is delegate the following common task and the other one is create a custom task to delegate now if you want to create a custom task to delegate you can click on this one and click next once selecting next from here you can select the appropriate 
task you want to give a particular user now let's give account object objects let's click next now from here you can select you want to give the what permission to a user full control read write read the pro all properties write all properties now next uh, there is a tick box there is a, a property specific now if you click on this there will be a property specific task like this one as you can see now let's uh, give a user f read permission now click next now finish now let's minimize this and log on the log on to a server with user rights to log on to a server with user rights we will use run as command we on our previous tutorial we have told you how to use run as command now right click click on run as select the second option and type the username and type the username user password now it is showing an invalid file because it is on the desktop now let's open from the all programs administrator tools active directory user and computers right click select run as type the username and the password and enter oops looks like the wrong, wrong password well let's put the right password and enter as you can see active directory user and computer has been open with user rights now click on the plus sign which will open this drop down menu now on the user we have given the permission to change password only let's see that we are able to create a user or not right click as you can see there is no option for creating a new user now let's see does the user is able to create a new password for other users or not as we have given a permission to change password user should able to change password of users as you can see there is the option for reset password now let's click on reset password and change the password of this user now it is showing the error windows cannot complete the password change for sachin sami because access is denied now let's see why the access is denied go to properties click on accounts as you can see everything is hidden click on member of as you can see this user is member of account operator backup operator domain guest and many others that means this is a user with a special privilege privileges that means we cannot change this user password let's change other user passwords let's say sam d right click on the sam d click on reset password type the different password and and click okay as you can see password of the sam d has been changed now let's see what is in the property of sam d let's click on account as you can see there is one space is showing user must change the password now there is let's see on the member of tab this user is a domain user that means we can change this user password see more about delegation on the part 2 of this video thank you